Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ajax form submission feature in Divi Form Builder. We won't be getting into too much detail here, so definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for other videos and support articles with more in-depth information on how to use all the Divi Form Builder features. And don't worry if you get stuck. Just submit a support ticket and our awesome support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now if you're ready, let's go. Alright, so we're going to kick it off here with a form over here that I built out earlier. It's a very simple first name, last name submit form. It's just a contact form that I created. I'm going to go ahead and type in my name, R-O-B-E-Y, and last name, J-O-Y-C-E. Perfect. Now I'm going to hit that send it button. And you see that, that flash, that was my page refreshing. And we've got our custom kind of success form submission message right there. So good on you for submitting forms and things. Now, for those of you that don't know, Ajax form submissions basically allows you to submit the form without having the page refresh. So let's have a look at how we enable that. And then we'll take a look at how it looks. Alrighty, so to start this out, I'm going to jump into the back end, and here I've got my form for this page that I created earlier. I'm going to open up the settings for the Divi Form Builder module, and here we can see the two fields, first name, last name that I set up earlier, my form title, and as I scroll down, we'll see that I've got a contact form here, and then my text for the send button. Right underneath that text, we see Ajax submission. All you need to do, literally, is click that no button into a yes and then you can also change the text that it will display while the ajax is processing the submit so i'm just going to say sending since my button says send it and maybe dot 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 and well, i don't want to scroll to the form after and that's really all you need to do now I'm showing you how to do this on the contact form, but we're expanding where Ajax form submissions will be enabled. So keep mind of that. And then also know that you can change the styling for the buttons here in the design tab, just by scrolling down to submit button. And in there, you'll find all the button styles that you're already accustomed to. So let me save this, update the page. And now we're gonna jump back into the front end. Let me refresh. And then I'll type my name again really quickly. And now keep an eye on the send it button. It's going to briefly say sending, but you also notice that the page does not refresh. Bam. And just like that, we get our submission message that it was a success here. We saw here that it said sending just for a brief moment, but that is how simple it is to enable Ajax form submission. This is really great for bigger forms where you don't want the user being bothered by page reloads. And maybe the form takes a little bit while to submit if there's a bunch of images attached, that type of thing. So definitely check it out and use it. And that's it folks. That's pretty much all you need to know at this point about the Ajax form submission feature that you'll find in Divi Form Builder. Now, if the information that you were looking for was not covered in this specific video, definitely check out the documentation site at help.diviengine.com where we've got loads of videos and text articles that will help you master the Vform Boulder. And definitely never fear if you get stuck. Just submit a support ticket and somebody on our amazing support team will reach out to you and help you resolve your issue. So with that, guys, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. I'm going to be catching you in the next video.